Hello ladies! Here is my video of my room. I'm sorry for talking so fast and filming so fast, but I just don't have the space to record on my iPad. Um, just to give you an uh, FYI, from that wall to this wall, I'd like to put cupboards to the ceiling and a countertop and space to hide all my bags for crops. This is the new floor. I still need baseboards. This is the table my hubby scammed from work so I can put my big shot, my silhouette, my new selfie, my cricket, um, my gypsy, my table cutter, and gives me workspace. Um, this is the bag I take to crops. I fill it with my pen, scissors, glue. This tower holds my paint, cardstock scraps. This tower here I also take to crops. Um, and I bring all these uh, Craftmate lockables which hold all my embellishments, buttons, brads, eyelets, you know, all that stuff. My friend sells close to my heart, so I bought that for my Project Life cards. Um, this is a new system for me. This basket is for the new Project Lifestyle stuff layouts. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try monthly, uh, maybe two or one page monthly layouts. Um, the bottom, there's my stamping blocks. The bottom bin right there uh, holds uh, bling. The, the, the one on top of it holds chipboard. Um, down here I have ribbon and thread. In that box is stickers and miscellaneous that still have to be sorted into different theme boxes. Um, from close to my heart I bought that for cards from friends from all over online and groups. Um, this is my stamp tower and cleaners and stuff. Those are my scrap girls. We like Bailey's in our hot chocolate and coffee. Just helps with the mojo. There is my wall and whatever you call it. And I have my punches, my paints. I'm in just getting into the spritzing, the pearls, and I want to try the Tim Holtz Distress, my inks. Um, my printer, this armoire my father-in-law built me. Um, it used to be in the living room. Uh, it had crown molding and doors, but took that off to get it in here. Um, this tower here holds the top drawer is Christmas stamps, middle is nice envelopes, bottom is envelopes from a friend that does cards for Carlton and all that. So she brings me all the colored envelopes that they don't keep. Empty container to put stuff in to go to a crop. More bags to take to crops to store my stuff in. Um, printer. This is my Big Shot station. This is how I store my framelits and spellbinders. I got one for spellbinders and I've got one for Stampin' Up. And my folders, embossing folders, and my dies. And this is a new station too. Um, this is my cards that are made, cards to be made. This bottom one holds this. I took it out so you can see. Never use it. Middle one uses, uh, holds all my stickles. It's full. Barely use it. And this one here is my washi tape box. And I just need a pat on the back or a gold star because I love washi tape. However, I've withheld and this is all I've gotten. That's it. That's all. And there's my red Solo Cup shot glass. You know, just for the crops. I wash it and keep it just because. It gives you a little extra mojo. And, and I really don't drink, honestly. Uh, there is, holds printer paper and miscellaneous stuff. Uh, binder with layouts from magazines that I liked. Photo paper my misting box and my magazines that I've cleaned out a lot but if I may can I toot my own horn I am published in this one September 2012 and uh, I think it's this one yeah and I'm in the front editorial section with a layout so that's fun and my baskets for projects on the go and mementos and memorabilia. My trimmer hoarding that I don't use. My last sizzlets that I haven't sold. I had about 15. That one's still kicking around. 
And my desk, which got to go. It's like barely holding together anymore. My parasol that I really don't care for. Um, things get lost in it. So you got to put tall stuff. My pens and scissors and tools, they go in my Stampin' Up! bag that I, the, the little green basket I showed you. Um, they go in there, and I just leave them in the containers, and they fit. And this is my Ikea pegboard that I got years ago, um, discontinued, but I tried to find more of these containers, couldn't, so I MacGyvered these wire ones. It works. And this is the layout that's in that magazine that was published right there. This tower here holds all my glue and tape and uh, white and stamping stuff and just hot glue gun, miscellaneous. So now we're going into the family room. And this is my bookshelves. Up there is just extra stuff. And this is the rainbow cardstock that it took me three hours to work on. That container there is my scraps of uh, the bigger scraps of solid cardstock and I take that to crops with me and I have them in the cropper hopper pockets and I have this to hold my inks my father-in-law made it for me with his scrap wood that I hold my scrap paper pattern scrap paper um, inks daubers markers buttons reinkers up here is my little eight and a half by eleven um, cricket more storage boxes uh, label maker um, down here is uh, tool and big ribbons and there's paints the little tower is miscellaneous small trinket stuff the tops to my iris containers which hold the sewing embossing powder, uh, Tim Holtz inks, etc. Those are my paper takers. Um, they're iris containers. Um, I Some of them are organized, some aren't. I have one for winter and Christmas, and then I usually store by company and by the collection. Um, right now, <laughs> they're all in there, that big blue thing. Um, that's a monster in itself that I gotta decide. I have them in Ziploc baggies. I do not use, they have hanging file things in these. I don't use those. I store everything in big, large Ziploc bags and then put them in there. So it's easier to pull them out. And, and if something happened to container, the Ziploc bags keep them dry. So the first two colored storage there, those are flowers. All kinds of flowers, primas, you name it. And those two little clear ones are I am roses. And and if I scan this way, you're gonna get my there's my son's hockey equipment and the couch and whatnot. This bookshelf holds my theme stuff. So I have like winter and Christmas, school, hockey, fall, Halloween. Um, that one here is glitter paper specialty paper. That big one is all my alpha stickers, um, which is thickers and rub-ons. Anything alpha that goes in there. Um, those are empty. The, the bottom one's not. That's chipboard letters. But all those are empty. They are for to hold my punches to go to crops. And the top one is page layout protect, uh, the page protector things to go in the albums. The other two are empty. And those are my albums. Um, in one of those sticker binders is one's empty and the other one is rub-ons. And then there is all my albums and then photos. <laughs> when I was organizing, I just stuck them there. And all my albums. And then that one is another ribbon container but big spools like from Stampin' Up! and stuff. The little wipes container is Christmas ribbons and those are empty and those are to take to crops to fill up. So I hope you enjoyed my tour. I am so sorry for being a, a really horrible filmer and for talking so fast, but I wanted to really fit this all in. And I'll just span around so you can see. There's family photo. So there's the scrapbook room. And there's my husband's new Christmas gift. So we went from just a regular tiny little tube TV to this. He's happy. Anyways. So, um, that's my tour, and I hope you enjoyed it.
If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.